On the 1st of Advent, at the end of November, the whole village is invited to a torch procession. We are welcoming Christmas and Santa Claus back to our town. This is one of my favorite traditions here in Nongyebyn. It's one that my friend Lin and I have promised each other that we will take part in together every year because we find it so magical. Lin! We are so ready to say hello to Santa Claus. Nibia! Oh! It is so windy today and it's cold. But it's beautiful. Oh my gosh! Hello! Oh yeah, no. There's so much snow and wind. It's like minus 20. But Lord knows how to have it. The village turns off all of the street lights for the occasion, and we walk with firelit torches lighting the way for us. We meet at Huset where we pick up our torches and huddle up in an effort to light them, which is quite a difficult task on a stormy day. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> With our torches lit, we walk over to Santa Claus's mine. Our legend says that Santa Claus lives in this mine up in the mountain. And on the first of Advent each year, he returns to Longyearbyen, turns on the lights in his mine and puts out a post box for all the kids to put their wish lists in. The first letter Santa Claus receives are the ones posted here. It's a bit cold <laughs> and our fire has gone out. And it's windy and dark, but it's beautiful. <laughs> oh no! Hade gör vi med jag kopplar en lyxet. Holiday! After stopping by the post box, we walk down to the main street for some glug, mulled wine, and to light the Christmas tree on the town square. The main street is adorned with decorations for the season, and a Christmas tree is brought up from the Norwegian mainland. Even though the weather was madness this year and temperatures were in the low minus 20 Celsius, lots of people showed up for this annual event. As you can see, we're all wearing reflective gear, and this is something we do in the polar night to stay safe. Everyone walks or bikes everywhere, and in the darkness, you are not visible to cars without good reflective wear. We brought Grimm with us this year, and he did incredibly well. While we listened to the mayor's speech and the choir singing, he lay down on the ground in between my legs and just took it all in. I think all of our training with him has really made a difference. Very proud moment. Lynn and I drank our mulled wine, ate our gingerbread cookies, and watched the lighting of the Christmas tree, all while the storm roared around us. Oh, it's so cold! Uh, Look at my cheeks! It's like frostbite warning. Oh, oh well, here it comes. Oh, oh, oi, 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 oi. Åh, herregud. Nej, 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 Suddenly everyone joined in a dance around the tree and the words of our mayor echoed in my head. This is our home. This is our town. We have a great sense of community in Longyearbyen. People from all over the world live here and share the village as their hometown. During the dark season, the pace slows down, granting us the time for reflection. All of us living here have chosen to do so. So even during the dark polar night, we appreciate where we are and why we are here. 
Some people are here working on research grants. Some people have chosen to settle here with their children for a different way of life. And some are just here to work for a few months and enjoy the spectacular nature. And without an indigenous population on the island, what we all have in common is that we have made the choice to live here. <laughs> Go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh. I had it good. Oy, oy, oy. Oh gosh. Oh the wind is killing me and my face. Holy moly. The gusts are so bad. We are going back to get our car. <laughs> We're almost there. Oh, fy fan alltså. Nej, det var riktigt. Där kommer en till röd. Gör du det? Slut med det. Oh my gosh. Okej. Okay. Get in there, Grim. Let's go. Baking time. <laughs> Today we're gonna do a um, soft gingerbread cake, as my mother used to do. So she sent me this recipe. I haven't done it in a really long time, but this is a fast and easy cake to do, and it's Christmassy. So that's why we're gonna do it today. Also, I'm here, but I'm not drinking blood today. I'm gonna leave Christopher with the baking and I'm just gonna go somewhere else. Bye! Okay, so we're gonna do everything in gram. So, you need a scale. My mother gave me the recipe for deciliter, the standard thing that we have here in like Scandinavia. But I made it for gram. So, I'm gonna start. So this is basically basically like you take all the dry stuff, put it in a bowl, and then you take like butter and lingon berries and the white stuff, egg, and put it in the rest and just mix it and then in the oven. So it's kind of fast cake. So we're gonna start with 225 grams of brown sugar. So then I'm gonna go gonna go for 270 grams of flour. Yes. Five gram of this natron. I think it's the same in English. In Sweden we say bicarbonate, but natron or natron, I don't know, it's probably the same. Five gram of this. Five gram of cinnamon. And Neilika, I don't know that why the English fixes it, they have to make a translate for that one. Look like this. And that we need two and a half gram. So then we have all the dry stuff. Just gonna take it together a bit. Oh. 
The recipe doesn't have any vanilla sugar, but it's always nice with just a tablespoon. Makes the flavor. A teaspoon? Yeah, a teaspoon. <laughs> a a teaspoon, teaspoon will be a lot more. <laughs> a teaspoon is like five grams. So, then we're gonna start with this. Start the scale. What are you doing now? Now we're gonna have in rumme. This is a Swedish recipe, so originally it's Crown Fresh, but we are in Norway now, so it's gonna be rumme. Is this always in a soft gingerbread cake? No. This so is it's a, your mother's version. Yeah, it's a Swedish version, this one. This must be after my mother moved to Sweden because it. it's from Norrland, the north of Norway. No, north of Sweden. I've never tried this. I've only tried, no, I've had soft gingerbread cake like once, so I'm very curious about adding lingonberries. I think it's going to be tasty! Real tasty! Okay, I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to have one egg, one and a half deciliter of lingon. Uh, yeah, lingon berries. So it's gonna be quite firm. So wait a minute. Let's actually check. I think you need to show what this looks like. Where would you buy this? Like at IKEA? I know you can buy it. lingonberry jam, perhaps. Lingonberry jam. Okay, yeah, so it, it's a sweet jam still, right? It's a sweet jam. Yeah, because you can like... get lingonberries that are tart. Yeah, it's but true. But jam. you want the jam for this, this lingonberry jam. jam. Okay, that's very good to note. Then we add some butter, melted butter in this one. And it's about one, ta said one tablespoon, so it's not very much. It's... Then we're just gonna have some rumme, and it's gonna be like 150 gram. So this is 300 gram, so just take out. 150. That. 10 gram. Perfect. This is the recipe that I wrote. My mother sent it on the phone. So, I'm just gonna mix this one now. This is the cake. So this is super fast, super easy cake to do. Then I'm gonna need some butter for this one. Butter of the pan. Yeah. Butter of the pan. A lot of butter, and then we have breadcrumbs that I mixed. So put in that. Take it all around. You don't have to do that so well. I, I have I know someone who could help you with this. <laughs> Wouldn't they like some help? <laughs> That's the rest is for me. Thank you, Ba. If you're wondering why I'm in pajamas, it's because it's 7 p.m. 7.30. 175 degrees for one hour. That's about it. So, pretty steady in the oven. One hour. Oh, this is gonna be so good. But wait, so the lingonberry is in this? Yes. Hmm. I would have never thought so. It's gonna make the cake quite soft and nice, like a soaky cock, yes. Is this how, without the lingonberry and the rum, is this how we make gingerbread dough? No. All right, we'll be back in one hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
for longer than a year. So, this is ready. It's 98 Celsius and 209 Fahrenheit. Cake is ready and it took 56 minutes. So, one hour is quite accurate. But this is a good thing. 98 degrees, then you know it's ready. Just gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna take it out. Perfect. Det här är så man bakar liksom. Man är socker och då använder man ju... Would you not be very happy if I took a taste like that? Come on, come on, come on. Now, we are going to drink some julemust. And you might be thinking, this is just like Coke. But no, it is not just like Coke. There's something in this. What do they know? Do they say what it is? No, they don't. So this tastes like something really good. It's very tasty, very Swedish. Very... Do they have it in Norway? No. No. Oh my God, they have something called julebrus, which tastes like... What does it taste like? I thought it was terrible. Don't sweet. kill me if you're Norwegian. Very, very sweet. But this is ish the same taste as Coca-Cola, just with more Christmassy festivities. So we're gonna take a piece of this cake. I need to try it. Oh! Oh my gosh. We have so many baked goods. This is fantastic. It's super soft, super gingery. Oh, sorry, uh, cinnamony. You have to like cinnamon to like this. Mm. That's a good rule here as well. Very, a lot of cinnamon so good crispy just like you said the breadcrumbs create this layer mm. okay very good i want like here <laughs> i'm being so funny we are watching harry potter with our beautiful christmas tree and we're gonna eat this cake and drink some yudemust why did i need more this is not a fair you gave me less than you yeah, you did. Look at this. Take Look one. at this. Take the other one. It's okay. Oh my gosh. This is so difficult to explain what it tastes like. If you can get Yulmust, buy Yulmust. Did it turn out just the way you thought? No. Well, <laughs> I realize when you bake, it's not like when I bake. <laughs> when I say this, it's because I'm very used to not nothing turning out like it should. So, I mean, you bake with precision. So should be difficult. Oh my gosh, this is good. Nice. Now we're gonna go and watch Harry Potter. See you guys soon. Cheers.